preschoolers, it's Miss Melissa here with Ollie and Miss JD. We are so excited to see you. So this month we have been learning that I can believe in Jesus. So who can believe in Jesus? That's right, I can believe in Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna turn things over to Miss JD and she is gonna play a super fun I Spy game with you. All right, I'll see you later. All right, boys and girls, all right, I'm so excited for this game, all right? so. I'm about to put a picture on the screen. Here it comes. All right, so right now you are looking at a picture of Jesus by a tomb. So we're gonna play an awesome game of I Spy. All right, so here we go. So I want you to spy a red heart. Do, do you see the red heart? There you go, you got it. I know you found it. All right, let's try to find something else. Let's see, let's find the blue heart. Did you find it? There you go. I know you got it. There you go. Awesome. All right. So let's spy. Let's spy Jesus. Do you see Jesus anywhere in the photo? Yep. There he is. You got it. Awesome. All right. Let's look for one more thing. This one might be a little bit tricky, but let's look for the Bible. Here's a hint. It might be behind a little bush. Mm. There you go. You found it. Awesome. You guys did so awesome. Thanks for playing I Spy with me. I'll see you guys later. God loves us and he gave his own.
friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and I had the best art project to work on today. But it's super windy outside, and something crazy just happened. The wind blew my circles all over the clubhouse, and now I need you to help me spy them all. Point when you see one. I spy with my little eye a circle that is blue and held by my cuddly friend. Do you see it? Yep, you're good. Hmm, what should I make with this one? It's blue, like water. Oh, I know. It's the whole world. That was fun, let's do another one. I spy with my little eye a circle that is brown, and wow, the wind blew it up high. Do you see it? Yes, you got it. Hmm, well, actually, this is kind of golden brown. Like my favorite food, nice and warm, right out of the oven. It's a pizza. On the count of three, shout out your favorite pizza toppings. One, two, three. Mm, those are so yummy. My favorites are pepperoni and peppers. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Making tasty round treats, are you? There's so much fun stuff to make with circles. Crafting with circles is fun, it's true. I know a very special circle just for you. So let's hear the story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Oh, i got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my whole lot of love cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about someone special who loves us so, so much. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Today's amazing true story is about someone very special who did something only he can do. If you think you know who this very special person is, I want you to shout out his name. Yes, Jesus! Jesus is the very special person and I am going to tell you about the most amazing thing he ever did that only he can do. God sent his son Jesus to show us how to love each other and to be our friend forever. Wait, where did the heart go? We might need to play I Spy to find it. Get out your pretend binoculars and let's look for it. Ready? Tell me when you see the heart. I spy with my little eye. A heart! And look, it's showing us that Jesus taught us how to love others by being a good friend. Wait, where did it go? Let's look for it. Ready? I spy with my little eye. The heart, right there. <laughs> good job, everyone. And look, the heart is showing us that Jesus was a good friend to people who were different than him. <laughs> Not again. Where did it go now? Let's look for it. Ready? I spy with my little eye. <gasps> the heart! <laughs> It's showing us that Jesus was a good friend to everyone, even people who made bad choices. Jesus was a friend to everyone. One day, a very sad thing happened. Some angry people took Jesus away and hurt him so bad that he died. Jesus' friends buried him in a tomb and rolled a big stone in front of it. Jesus was gone and his friends were very, very sad. But 
On the third day, Jesus did something that only Jesus can do. Jesus came back. <laughs> Jesus is alive. Yes, Jesus is alive. Say that with me. Jesus is alive. One more time. <laughs> Jesus is alive. We know Jesus is alive because people saw him and talked with him. Then they wrote all about it so we can know and believe that Jesus is alive. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie, tell me. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive. And he's a friend forever to you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, what a great story. Jesus wants to be a friend to everyone. That means Jesus wants to be my friend, and he wants to be your friend, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I spy with my little eye a circle that is gray and right behind me. I'm going to paint this so it looks just like the stone that was in front of Jesus' tomb. The stone got rolled away because Jesus is alive. written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31.